everybody. I'm Lauren. I'm Emma. And you're listening to The Oak View. I thought you were trying to signal me to like stop. <laughs> I was like, please stop talking, Lauren. I really need to get something off my chest. <laughs> Hi, Emma. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Hello, How- friends. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Oak View. Welcome back. If you're still here, man, you must really love Lauren. Oh, and me. Yes, exactly. Thank you. All right. (laughs) (laughs) How are you? I am doing pretty good. Pretty good? I feel like you're doing fabulous. Oh, do you? I took a good nap today. Isn't that the best? Well, you needed the nap because that was what was necessary for your future. I love it when you wake up from a nap and like... Mm, you're just like so comfy and warm you are and you're like i got nowhere to be i got no Mm -hmm. one to do no one to see maybe a snack is in my future em and i are just gonna do a light fun episode today we are we're we're on a very positive streak lately we feel like we should be talking about positive things positivity positive positive positives (laughs) positive positives Good things. Good so things that come to contrast us. contrast to our episode called The Worst, welcome Correct. to The Best. Welcome to The Best, where the best people talk about the best things, and the best is literally the best. Oh, my God. So what is your thing that's the best? Lauren, when you think of the best, do you think of people or moments in your life? I think about the little moments. I think about the little moments. I think about like when you go to the store and you come home and someone buys a container of dip and you're the first chip in that dip. That's the best. It is the best. It's the best. It makes you feel special. What's another best thing? Okay, so this is a little random. This is... This is a very underrated thing that is the best, okay? People Ooh, yeah, don't those talk about the this. Best. That's why people come to their podcasts to get some. Right, this they is true. Some comfort. And nobody's talking about it. Let's right. talk, about talk about how. It. You know what's the best, Emma? What's the best? When you go into a public bathroom mm. in like a morning at work I was like, that's whatever, not the best And for the me. toilet seat is up, so you know that you are the first oh, person that is clean. Freshly cleaned toilets. And you're the first bum to hit it. Mm. People don't talk about it, but it's the best. People don't talk about it. Also, when people like don't like when you successfully go in and out of the bathroom and nobody sees you and nobody comes in while you're in there. Yes, I love to go to the bathroom and no one goes into the bathroom because my least favorite thing at work is when I go to the bathroom and I have to pee and someone's like washing their hands and I like don't want to go to the bathroom until they're done and they leave. Because, yeah, you don't want like, to chit-chat. No, you don't want to And chit-chat. sometimes when you're a woman, you have to chit-chat in the bathroom. Yes, yeah. On the contrary of my worst impression was the worst thing I said was, you know, cold showers because everyone uses the hot water. I don't think you said that. Maybe did. you did. Sorry. Well, anyway, keep that's going. the worst. The best is when you're the first shower of the day and you get mm. a good hot shower, steamy, and, like, you got no worries. You got no worries if it's going to be cold because it's you the first. Wow, we're on a hygiene train now. I really like it. Oh, if we're going to talk about the best things about hygiene, like fresh toothpaste. Ah, the first squeeze of a toothpaste. It's satisfying. That's the best. You had mentioned this earlier. I don't want to steal it from you. Can I say the sheets thing? Oh, that's such a good one. The best is when you're clean out of the shower and you get into a fresh pair of sheets on your bed. Oh, there is like that's heaven. The reason why that's the best is because, like, everything is clean Everything's and clean. fresh. You're clean. You know your sheets are clean. Oh, you know your bed was, like, freshly made, and mm. you're fresh, and you're just getting in, and you just tuck in. And then something about, like, clean sheets just feels so good on, like, clean skin. I don't know. It's so good. It's the best. Also related to sheets, warm laundry that you can just, like, pick up and snuggle in for, like, a minute after the laundry is done. Beautiful. I I or yeah, that. when you put like a towel or like a blanket yes. in the dryer to warm up. Yes, and then you're just like, you take it out and everything feels good and you don't feel cold to go outside. Oh, so good. That's the best. Amazing. What is also the best is when you're like craving a food mm-hmm. and then somehow it magically appears in your life. Like you manifested yes. it. Yes, like the, the moment at work once I really wanted breakfast and I didn't have time to get it and I walked in and it was bagel day bagels in the kitchen everybody see oh it's like you know it's like it's the best 
<laughs> the other things that are the best are like when you have a panic moment and you remember something that you forgot to do and you're like, oh my gosh. And then you turn to the person next to you and they already did it and took care of it for you. Yeah. You're like, wow, coworker, 10 and out then, of 10. Like, yeah. The that best. relief. That's so good. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is the best thing, but something that really tickles my fancy is fresh cut grass. Really? I just love the smell of a fresh cut lawn. I don't know. Maybe that's just me excited Mm. about the springtime because it got warm today. It did. It was very nice out today. I walked around in just like a regular crew neck sweatshirt. Had no problems. That's the best. That's the best. See, that's the best when winter goes away. <laughs> well, well, it's just, it's so cold and then 40 degrees feels like it's oh, 70, it right? So and good, then you're right? like, oh, wow, it's so nice out. Like, he your body this is, is like so not good. prepared. Yeah. And everybody else would be like, this is crazy. This is cold. No, no, no. This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. There's your Midwest perspective. That's your Midwest perspective on how we're feeling about this weather. Okay, maybe not for you, but for me. The best is when you get like an, um, a blanket that's not like too big for you, but like a, a good decent size bigger than you. And you wrap it around you. And like you a burrito? Your head, like a burrito. And then you get on the couch and you like tuck your legs up. Being and you're tucked just like, in is amazing. Oh, and you're just like perfectly tucked yeah, in Yeah, like for that some circles movies. back to the, the nap thing. It re- oh. That, did you have a good nap that you tucked yourself in? I had two blankets. See, that's if that's see it. if you get three blankets on your couch, that is the kiss of death, right? Oh, like you're you're out yes. for sure. Like it, yes. If my husband puts three blankets on me, I'm done for. Don't see me till next Tuesday. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm gone. Nyquil, who? <laughs> exactly. Hey, yeah, I should just do that when I'm sick. Now you know how you said you're, when you crave a good food. And then it magically appears. I'm thinking about like when I'm having a bad day and I'm walking on the street and all of a sudden I'm like looking down because that's how I walk. I look down with my, you know, face to the ground and you pick your head up and there's a puppy walking towards you with their owner. That's the best. And I'm like, can I pet your dog, please? My day is horrible. And they're like, oh, my God, crazy person. Yeah, it's pet my dog. But yes, you're just like (laughs) magically gifted by a beautiful animal. That's the best for me. That's too funny. (laughs) <laughs> I like little the things best in life. Is I, when, like, and this happens to me aw- often because I've talked about how great my McDonald's is, but when you get like the perfect fries or when you're craving something and then it 100% satisfies and it's like as good as it's always been. Mm. When your food is perfectly it's cooked. It's fulfilling. It really makes you feel like you're someone special. I agree. Honestly, Lauren, I would love to transition this just to like the little things in life friday night pizza nights are the best (laughs) the best fresh cinnamon rolls on a saturday morning (gasps) yes i I made such a good breakfast this morning oh tell me about your breakfast by breakfast i made lunch what do you like to eat for lunch breakfast what did you eat me just tell me what you made today (laughs) i'm losing it guys like a scrambler like i i put some potatoes in the oven and I seasoned them all up and I made some scrambled eggs and put it over it and I mm, Mm, that just just sounds good good all around you know it really is the little things that add up and really make life worth it and these like little things that you know bring us joy is it's just so comforting to know that other people also find joy in the little things and that's so cliche, right? Like, oh, yes. the little things, right? But, like, seriously, it we're makes in a, a movie difference. right now. I feel like we're in a movie. Okay, if you were in a movie, who would play you? I almost said Betty White, and I think that's just <laughs> no, because what? I love her. But that does not make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> if I was in a movie, the actress that would play me... And it has to be, like, your age right now. Oh, well, that's hard. Oh, wait. she The person in life has to be my age right now? No, I'm just saying, like... The actor, w- oh, the actress um, would be playing you as 100% you are today. One hundred percent, Kristen Bell. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I like very her, much see that. Her. She would sarcasm, bring like the perfect energy to it. I yes, think. energy high, sass high, sarcasm high, wow. and then she'll get super serious and make a joke, and it will be. That all was such a good answer. 
She's pretty great. I really idolize her. I, am, and I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> I just like that she's very real and she's like, I, I thought it was so funny. This is nothing that is special for anybody but me and Lauren. But <laughs> I was on Instagram one day and she posted a video of her and her husband just like hanging out and talking. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I love watching regular people be regular people. Like, yes. That's the, I think it makes us so more connected on the world when we see others doing the regular things and how relevant that is. Who would play you in a movie? That is an excellent question. I don't think anybody particularly like looks like me. No. Do you think there's like um, a demeanor that really? I'm trying to think of somebody like young. Maybe. I only know one person and she's a. Wait, don't say anything. Let me, let me look an actress up. Oh, who's the girl from, um, what what were you going to say? I want to say Anne Hathaway. Okay, well, that's like my natural instinct, but I feel like... Only because she's very versatile, but I don't think she's like that as a person. You don't think she... I wish, like I wish, like in my dreams, right? I think the, the, the thing that really says it to me is, one, The Princess Diaries, obviously, because yes. that's our favorite movie. Because her attitude and her sass and is her very sarc- me. It's so you, and it's so funny. As I'm like looking people up, I don't know. Zoe Dutch, do you know who that is? I do not. Can you tell me what she's been playing in? Yes, I can. Uno momento. I also thought about like I'm just well, I was just trying to think of like Anna Kendrick, but she's she's like too quirky and like Anna her Kendrick. Face I is think has similar to mine. Well, I don't know about the face thing, but I think Anna Kendrick's demeanor is not like yours oh okay i changed my answer 100 percent. okay well not 100 percent. i changed my answer because i feel like maybe it would be abigail breslin now who, what does she do and who does she play she was in little miss sunshine she's also in zombie land i don't know what any of those movies are <laughs> you've never seen zombie land no I, zombie land is one of my favorite movies it's so funny i'll have to look it up lauren i totally think that we blew it we did not do our segment of what did we learn this week I learned that nobody can play me in a movie <laughs> well we don't know for sure did you learn anything i have one thing in mind but i don't necessarily think it's something that you should know it's something that i should know Okay. Give me a minute. Oh, and then I have a story that I want to share. Why don't, do you want to just start with that? Okay. Lauren, as I'm thinking about what I learned this week, I have something to tell you. Okay. As everybody knows, I'm very much addicted to getting tattoos. Yes. But it's really not the tattoo that I want to talk about. Okay. I have a new tattoo artist. And let me tell you, he is quite handsome. Oh, I see. Are you going to call the studio and get his phone number? Well, so recently (laughs) I just got a new tattoo and as I was sitting with him in a session, we were talking and kind of having some fun and, you know, going back and forth and asking about each other's lives and and whatever. And like, that's what you do, right? Yeah. Normal people sit down like when you go anywhere, get your hair done, get your nails done, whatever. You talk to the people that are doing your stuff. Well, about halfway through, it got a little bit exciting because I felt like we were vibing and I just sat there and I said, hmm. And he has to look at a different one that I have to touch up in a week. And I said, should I message you to let you know when I'm coming back? And he's like, yeah. But like the way he said, yeah, was like, do you need anything else from me? What? (laughs) And I was like, and and he's like, yeah, let me make sure that, you know, my schedule is clear. And and he's like, do you, do you want, do you need anything else? Do you need any water while I finish? And I was like, you already got me a water. (laughs) cute and he was like oh i totally forgot i got you a water (laughs) this is so cute i'm so this is probably um way more than it is and i probably am blowing it up like everything else i do clearly um aka dental hygienist problems but it's fun to be excited about something i get excited i think this is something that really is the best are you a girl who like thinks that everybody's in love with her kind of like (laughs) no (laughs) I, I used to think that when I was driving around and like early college, you know, when you drive around, you always think that someone's looking at you. So you always try to like flip your hair cute or like, you know, look Not to the me. side. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So it's totally me. But like, I love to like look to the side and like, you know, look in but the mirror. Or, like, that is look one down. of my things that's the worst is like making eye contact. 
<laughs> I like I like dance and I'll be like, I don't care what you think about me. I love singing in the car, so if I ever get caught, I am a little mortified, but like the vibes I felt in my soul talking to this guy, it just felt nice to feel yeah. normal and to yeah. you know have a normal conversation with someone. Like so much of this pandemic I have kept my circle quite small. And when I have finally felt comfortable to go out talking with strangers, I miss. I miss going to the bars and like meeting people and just like talking to them about their lives and, and you know, dancing and just like experiencing new life in a way. Um, But I have to say, I did have a little moment of my fangirly stuff because once he was done, he took a picture and I was like, oh, are you going to put it on your Instagram? And he was like, yeah, do you want me to tag you? And I was like, yes, please. And of course, he does that for promotion, right? He does that to get more clients. And then... <laughs> right before I left, he was like, um, yeah, just message me, you know, when you want to come back. And he's like, do you do you want me to do anything else for you? And I was like, is this the moment <laughs> where I need to ask him for his phone number? Did you do it? Did you chicken no, out? No, I totally chickened out. Aww. And I went. And so I thought an alternative would be like, yeah, uh, do you want to do more tattoos for me? And he was like, I would love to. And I was like, maybe you could finish my sleeve. And he was like, oh, yeah, absolutely. He's like, you're going to get a I'll... sleeve. Oh, yeah. I got to finish my arm, girl. Are you going to do your whole arm? Heck, yeah. OK, I told you if you get a sleeve that I want a tattoo. <laughs> Are you serious? No. <laughs> oh, maybe, I was, maybe I... I'm half serious. Did I black out when you said that? Yeah, I, I told that. I said I said I, I said we're never going to get matching tattoos. But I said, like, if you're going to cover half your body, like I better get a little some real estate. <laughs> I agree. You should get some real estate. I'll give a little little lauren I'll, get, I'll write your name in cursive and i'll put it on my arm or you know it makes me think of you the most no we're gonna um, think of what you know what's really sad though it's because of your dad oh elephants? i think of i think of pink elephants yeah back when we were kids lauren's dad used to make this joke that there was a pink elephant in the woods and it was like playing with mr yogi bear and like as kids i thought it was the funniest thing that has ever happened so every time every time i would see lauren's family we would make a joke that oh i saw yeah, a pink elephant today these, yeah silly i thought it stories. was so funny it was so funny um that brought me back to some childhood memories so anyway else, so i got okay let's talk about the things that make us think of each other okay i love that but Wouldn't let me wrap cute? up my, oh, yeah, my please story do, real please quick. Do. so my hope is in a week when i go back to touch up this other one that i grow some that he asks you for your number or i just grow a pair and ask him for his yes i agree because <laughs> no i just mean like okay but like can you find out his his status i can, can totally can we find, find that out well i know that he's not with anybody because he told me that he has a dog because i asked him to um put daisies on my arm and he goes my dog's name is daisy and i was like oh how cute and then we talked about an ex-girlfriend of his because okay. he said when he was younger, he tattooed his ex-girlfriend, girlfriend at the time. And when he was just starting to tattoo, he did not do a very good job. <gasps> but she became an ex-girlfriend, so he didn't really care. And so she ended up covering it up over time. But, like, all I know is that, like, he doesn't live with his mom and dad. And that's all I care about right now. Okay. Yeah. That's that's the standards, right, guys? The bar Everybody is low. <laughs> Women, we know the bar is low, but I got to start somewhere. So that's funny. But anyways, I think if anything, Lauren, I didn't really learn a lot this week. I've just absorbed a lot this week. I feel that. You know, heavy things happening. Lots of things going on. Got to got to keep my mind sharp. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, Let's totally talk about things that remind us of each other. Um, Princess Diaries. Princess Diaries. The color blue is for Lauren. Anything blue. I Giraffes. Think Crafts. Giraffes. Oh, I think it's crafts. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Avatar. Long hair. Because you have yes. long hair. Avatar, <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's just so funny. Oh, speaking of, did you know that the creators of Avatar are creating a new franchise I, and they're going to make I new just things? saw that and I, how do you feel about that? I'm geeking out. But wasn't the last because thing that, that we made, so made much. really bad? No. So what was happening is that they were trying to get a contract with Netflix. To do a live to action, To do a live right? action. But they blew <gasps> it, and they didn't want Brian and Mike to be really a part of it. So they quit, so they walked, and they walked away wow. from it. That devastation that you must feel about that is the same way that I feel about the Lizzie McGuire reboot canceling. Well, now that I know, well, <sighs> when she said that she wanted it to be like rated R, I I understood. I was like, this needs to be an adult version of Lizzie McGuire. We don't need another teenage drama, crappy sitcom version of yeah. the girl meets world that was the knockoff yes, of Boy 
and that squirrel. wasn't really you know what I mean? like, good. Or like that's so Raven became Raven's home, and I'm like honestly, I can't be on down. I'm not down. Or like even like Fuller House became Fuller House, and granted, some of it was good, but I was like, guys, yes, there needs to be a line in the sand. So yes, I do feel the devastation of them walking away. But then the fact that they just announced that they have their own studio going together and they're creating more content, and the next thing that they're producing is going to be a movie, I was like, I'm in. I'm in. Anyways, thank you for letting me go down that rabbit hole. Absolutely. When I think of you, Lauren, I think of art because you used to draw a lot and you paint a lot. I also think of just the fact that you're my friend and you love snacks and pizza. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder if, like, is there anything that, like, always triggers your mind? Because when I think about our childhood, memories that come to my brain are, like, when I had that pirate outfit for Halloween and you and I were Mm -hmm. playing with the plastic sword and then we broke it and then I cried because my mom was so mad. We thought your mom was going to, like, actually murder us. Yeah, no, and she just, you know, I now I understand because it was probably expensive, but... We, me and Lauren tried to glue it. We tried to we tape tried to it. We tried to tape it. It was, looked horrible. It was like honestly an episode of like a TV show. It really was. And then I thought it was I was clever because I snuck out of the house with it so she couldn't tell me that I couldn't play with it. Yeah. And then when I went back home. And then home, we broke it like immediately. <laughs> we, <broke it. laughs> we literally hit it on the tree. She, she, yeah. She literally smacked it against a tree. <laughs> I'm so sad though, Lauren. Every time I drive by my family's home, I go back by your house and yeah, that tree is gone. Right there. So sad. Lauren and I's favorite moments growing up, we used to take a jump rope and we would tie it to a boogie board. And then we would tie that to the tree trunk and then we would ride it like a swing. I Do totally you know? forgot about that. That was like the best. That that's the best, that. Lauren. That was the best. Oh my gosh. We were so cool. We we were totally cool until middle school. <laughs> right. And then, you know, we went down for a little bit and then, you know, we got regular jobs and now we're cool again. Maybe we're peaking. Oh, the sound of music. That comes to my mind when or you come to my mind when I listen to the sound of music. Mm, I think of you when I think of Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts, or like, of course. I, when I think of you, I think of like a kind of quirky. I think of like, <laughs> yeah, I think of like uh, structured art. Like if I see architecture or something, and then I don't text her about it because I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm not basic. She's like, you know? I'm not like, gonna talk to her about the things easy. that remind me of her, but I'm just gonna talk about it in my so, head. Sometimes I do. Depends. Another thing that comes to my mind is when you and me used to play in the backyard and like throw baseballs but then we would sit inside uh the little tree house and use the walkie talkies Mm -hmm. that was that was the best anytime someone says great america i was like lauren and i used to prank call people on the walkie talkies at the great america oh so funny i miss walkie talkies i miss walkie talkies everything is so in our palm we can't have any fun anymore and i gotta call you on the phone (laughs) I gotta FaceTime you like it's real. Name that person I just tried to quote. I I can't. Do you think Zoe Deschanel would play me in a movie? Schmidt from uh, New Girl. That's who I was trying to. That's emulate. who you're trying to think of. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Zoe Deschanel would be a great substitute. You think for the other one? Because I don't even know what the other one looks like. I don't know. She because she's fun and quirky and she she's really you know yeah. beautiful and. And she's got beautiful brown hair. You know, like and you. I'm really beautiful. So. You are really beautiful. What are you saying? Don't you laugh? I am not. <laughs> How dare I believe it? Your husband believes it. I believe it. Most yes. importantly. Most importantly. <laughs> I am. Yeah, we got to think about. Um, I don't. I don't know. I was gonna say what my tattoo will be. But I would love to I brainstorm get. what kind of tattoo you want. Is it going to be on your body? No. Oh, what? Uh, uh. Oh, so you like, want me no. and you to draw <laughs> out a plan for what's going on my body? Yes. Do okay, I get any it. say? <laughs> sure, Lauren. <laughs> Pick out your tattoo for me. I'm happy to be a permanent solution for your brain. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I can't handle it. We, you know what? I would, I would totally tattoo on me our little like, uh, really basic logo we have going on right now. <laughs> I with, know you would. With some, I like, headphones. That you should, though. That'd be fun. Yeah, maybe a microphone. But honestly, like... No, for real? 
Like it would be probably very subtle, but it would be very sentimental. That would that's yeah, the kind of yeah, tattoo I would think prefer. Of, we have to think of something like that. Guys, if you have any idea of what I should tattoo on my body in representation <laughs> of Lauren, please send us an email. We would love to hear from you and your thoughts. Even better, you know what? Scratch the email. Send me your Pinterest account and pin something for me. <laughs> I'm gonna text Kevika right now. I'm gonna say Kevika, if you could tattoo yourself for me, what would you put on your body to How represent me? How am I even me? gonna word this? I'm just gonna get a tattoo okay. for say, our friendship. Okay, if if you were to get a tattoo to represent our friendship, what would it be? <laughs> that would be my question. And then she'd be like, "You what want a tattoo?" That? That's very. That's a very weird question. It's weird because that's weird. Guys, in a few weeks, we're having another guest on our show. We're really excited. You're going to tune in to the best conversation that Lauren and I have ever had because we're going to talk to a doctor of animals. And you know what is really selfish, Lauren, and I hate to say it, but I know that all you want to talk about with her is you guys being best friends. I am going to. I'm going to bring it up. Your best friend list is really racking up. You got Megan now. You're going to have Kelly. Just like, I'm just saying, I feel a little left out. Maybe we, uh, am I still your best friend, I'm, Lauren? I'm reaching capacity. <laughs> There's a time limit, and then I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to have to drop one, so you're going to have to get that tattoo pretty fast. That'll be a, I'm kidding. You heard it here, folks. Kidding. Lauren's kicking me off our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I think you've inspired me, and I think I'm going to have to watch The Princess I watched Diaries. it today. I'm sorry I watched it without you. I, I haven't watched it since the really last did. time that we we watched it, like two years ago. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I sometimes like to watch it because I enjoy the second one, too, a lot, because it's just really funny, and I like to see Julie Andrews slide on a mattress down a hill. She doesn't um, slide. Does. She flies. I know. She flies. Also, I saw the making of that scene and someone held her and I got really bummed out about it because I was like, she could have totally done it. Anyway, you want to know why I watched that movie today? Why did you watch that movie? Because earlier this week, like two days ago, I heard the song somewhere. One of the songs that's in the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And it's the I'm Supergirl song. I don't. I'm Supergirl. (laughs) I'm Supergirl. And I'm here to save the world. Oh, mm. Okay, anyway, so I heard that song and then I had to watch the movie just to hear that song. But that song comes like literally in the first two minutes of the movie. <laughs> you couldn't turn it <laughs> then off. I was satisfied it wasn't like after you could like, we're done. But I did watch the whole thing. I'm really proud of you. Do you feel better? I do. You know what is the best? What? Knowing that at the end of the day, my bed is waiting for me to go to bed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, the next time that we watch Princess Diaries... We'll order a pizza. We'll put okay. M&M's on it. I don't like m and Well, too bad. The pizza's going to have m and I can't eat it. pizza with chocolate on it, Lauren. I'll literally barf. Okay, well, we'll just put it on there, and then you can take it off. Lauren, it's going to be melted into the pizza, no, and I'm going to throw up. In. No. Lauren, it's so well. Can we do like a half pizza, half and half, cheese and no, you know, no M&M's? For me, will you do it for me? I just, I was gonna say we we should have like a lot of the food that's in the movie. Well, I can't eat it. <laughs> that's okay. I don't. I'm pretty sure she eats cream. peanut butter out of a container at one point, and I can't eat that either. They, she also eats a corn dog. I don't even like corn. Dogs. Oh, I love corn dogs. I could do the corn dog. Yeah, I'll got- have the pizza and you have the <laughs> corn dogs. Guys, if you didn't know, Lauren doesn't like hot dogs really, and um, I am no, allergic I to do. peanut I just butter. Don't like- corn dogs and i hate chocolate remember when we went to the minnesota state fair and we ate all day long oh my gosh that was so amazing. so when i used to live in minnesota the best pastime was at the end of the summer right before school started when i was in marching band we had to do a state fair parade at the minnesota state fair one of the biggest state fairs ever and after like living up there for so long i was like lauren you guys gotta come up here and go to the state fair we and were we there had- all day and we had a food All marathon food i marathon. literally ate non-stop and it was it was the best day ever <laughs> and that was the best i was gonna say it was that the was best really the life. best Honestly, it was so good was so- we got there at like 9 a.m and we because like the fair is you know an open grounds like any other fair and so like you don't feel as bad because you're walking all day and you're like eating yes. it and then you're walking it off but we had everything from like kettle corn to uh, corn dogs to we had cookies. We had cookies, cheese curds. I had cheese a s'more. curds, we fries. Had... Tim had that uh, Snickers candy bar dipped in uh, oh, oh deep fried. Um, I we had like 
deep fried candy. We had really things good. of substance. Like I had like a fish fry. I had like we had real food. We had like an actual lunch. But like your dad bought a foot long hot dog. That was oh, hilarious. That's so good. <laughs> that food there is so great. And I think one of my other favorite things about it is like you get to go see all the animals. And, you know, the fair things and watch stuff. And Lauren and uh, we went over to this area where you get to watch, like, the lumberjacks cut wood and carve wood. And, like, that was that, fun. That was really fun. I had a good time. Honestly, 10 out of 10 would recommend. When when COVID's over, I'm going back to the state fair. Yeah. And I I really want to go to the Illinois and the Wisconsin state fair. I was going to go this year, but then COVID. I've been to the Wisconsin State Fair when I was younger. My dad said that they used to go to the Illinois State Fair a lot when they were kids and said it was pretty cool. So let's go. I'll drive down there. Okay, let's go. I've always wanted to go to Springfield and I've never been there, even though Bradley was only like an hour away, less Hmm. than. And I could just never like get anybody to go with me. I don't think I've ever been to Springfield. I thought maybe we went for like a trip for girl scouts or something or like a field trip for something but like i remember then we went to washington dc and that was yeah for eighth grade i also think about you when i think of washington dc yes yeah we we spent like the whole time together that trip was so crazy also too much education in one day i have a picture from that where like i literally was wearing pajama pants so why was i doing that lauren i don't know who were we why were we doing half the things we did at that age anyway (laughs) <laughs> Lauren, I want to say one last thing before we end this podcast. What? Happy birthday! Today is your birthday. Every okay. <laughs> I'm I am making this air on your birthday. This is the best. So awkwardly, I'm gonna do something that's gonna make Lauren very uncomfortable. Everybody, ready? Are you about Happy to sing? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. This is I don't really not think necessary. This is legal. So I'm saying happy birthday to you. Lauren, I'm so glad to know you and your birth. You're amazing. I hope you had the best day ever today. I can't wait to give you my present for you. Oh, I was so excited. I told everybody last time there was a plan. They should there was know. a plan. Last, hey, I edited that episode and I heard what you said. <laughs> I know. I was pretty mad. <laughs> happy birthday. No, but then it was cute because then you brought it up at the end of the episode too. That was yeah, funny. I was like, you know, you know. Don't tell anybody, guys. But my friend Lauren, I have known you since I was very young, and I'm just so grateful to have you in my life and to be a part of this weird journey that we're on and this weird podcast that we discovered and created. But it's really fun, and I do hope that you have the best day ever, and I'm sure you did. So I I hope that future Lauren has a great day too. I future Lauren is going to have the best day ever, and everybody who is listening to this, you better send us an email and wish happy birthday to Lauren. Okay. All right. Amazing. Can't end an episode without saying the best thing in life is your friend, Lauren. (laughs) (laughs) That's the best, guys. Having a good friend. Oh, my gosh. Are you my friend? Yes. Am I your best friend? Mm Mm-hmm. Is that the best? This is the best. (laughs) The the best is also having Emma. (laughs) You see what I did there? (laughs) I love it. We good? I think so. Thank you, everybody, for listening. This has been another episode of The Oak View. We hope you have an amazing week or the week that you have. But we hope it's the best. But we hope it's the best because if it's not the best, it's the week you have. Amazing. You deserve the best. (laughs) Amazing. You deserve the best. (laughs) Thanks, guys. Tune in next week. Bye. Thanks again for listening to The Oak View. You can follow Lauren and Emma on Instagram at The Oak View Podcast. O-A-K-V-I-E-W or email us at theoakviewpodcast at gmail.com.